Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Tainted Grail Conquest mode. Now, before continuing, I did uh, listen to enough of the last episode to notice that some of you who are a little more hard of hearing may have had difficulty picking up my voice at times. So, I've gone into the game options and altered the volumes a little bit. And we'll see how that plays out. Now, we would like to load the Aldred Kinlair save and get back in. Now, I have some comments I'd like to make about this version of the game, Conquest mode as opposed to the Story Campaign mode. Um, now, I feel that the criticism I'm about to level at the game is fair in context and should not be taken out of context, right? So this, con this, uh, this in no way applies to the story mode, right? But I have a, a niggling feeling, right? This free play method in which I can... Well, first off, let's take a little look and remind ourselves. I'm, we've got Aldred Kinlair here. He's trying to basically get a few levels and survive. For now, the focus is on... Oh, it's supposed to be... I invited someone back to the town, but he doesn't seem to be in any of the buildings, which is odd. I'm just going to check all the town buildings again before leaving because that won't involve burning any of the precious weird candles. Did he just not come back to town at all? It was a merchant, wasn't it? An old merchant? Yeah, and he just doesn't seem to be anywhere here. How bizarre. Now, I can't afford anything else, so I've just got to stick with what I've got for now. And I will travel to a milestone. And my goal is to avoid the red dotted line. Where is... Oh, it's that one. Right. So it does seem to be flagging them up in the order that I discovered them. And annoyingly, it would be nice to look around and see other places. So, if I go to here, that seems very reasonable. Alright. Just checking this is nice and safe and empty. Hmm. So I can explore and roam quite freely and level up and gain wealth and new items. And these, this will serve me well. And it does allow me to explore a... F come on, hold on. There. Explore a good portion of the game. However, it feels quite aimless, right? I will carve my name here, and I will light a candle, as I imagine I'll be spending quite a bit of time near this one. Oh, that... Oh, that's dumb. Oh, well. I will go to here. I will not carve my name on this one. And then I will go to here. And this appears to be a dead end with no further exploration in this way. Right, so I get to. Uh, no, nothing here. Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. Uh, so 
this feels rather aimless, uh, formless, without purpose. I get to learn nothing meaningful, and the story doesn't really develop, develop right? And I've managed to do all this without having to light another candle, which is probably a good thing. And I wasted one back there. An armed wanderer. Okay, if we head towards him. Now, so currently, right, this free roaming conquest method feels rather bland and generic, but in many ways that's kind of the point, right? This is, I get to go where I want, do what I want, and make my own stories, right? The story campaign mode, which it's probably being worked on secretly, but we don't get to see the developments on it at the moment, right? And it's being kept hidden until release, so we have the old basic version of it, but not a new one, unless they decide to change that and show us some new stuff. Um, that is where I would get the sense of direction, of purpose, a quest. But as it currently stands, of course, I get none of that. All right. I see an attack. I see an attack. I see stand your ground. I see stand your ground. And I'll attack this one. There we go. I'll keep the shield bash because it costs less energy. Bring it on, bring it on. And I'm so glad I kept it. Right, so. Shield bash and breathe. Um, I'll keep a normal attack. All right. So if I go attack, attack. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Not what I wanted at all. I wanted the two to kill and the stun, but instead I'm going to have to just try and yes. Oh, I'm going to eat a big hit here. Aha! No. That's good. I'll oh, keep the heavy hit. It'll be fine. So, I can't remember if I... Um, I don't have them carrying over from one fight to the next, so I'll just go for the big kill. Alright. So, a warding lore. Generates ma oh, that's good. Yeah. And some food. Well... Food is also very good at the moment. In our reduced health state, getting a little bit back will be great. Hmm. Let's meet this individual. Now, I have seen this encounter in someone else's video and, and experienced it myself while playing as my other character briefly. But let's enjoy it anyway. One weapon in his hand, one weapon on his back. This strikes you as a bit excessive, unless he's a travelling weaponsmith. The blood covering his leather jerkin is not his. A good sign, that means he can take care of himself. Sorry, a good sign, that means he can take care of himself. That should be two sentences, or a good sign that means... Ah! Not that means, a good sign that means, yes. Wow, it's really hard to not put the emphasis on that now. A good sign that means he can take care of himself. Before you get any stupid ideas, I used to be a master of arms at Halfway. Trained many young warriors there. If you have any gold to spare, I might teach you a thing or two. Um, well, I've got some gold. Not very much, though. He makes a gesture suggesting that his teachings won't come for free, though. Uh, yeah, I don't have 500 at all. It would be nice to mark a card as always being first in hand, but that would also be nice when I have more 
useful cards in my deck. The Breathe card could benefit from that, maybe. Maybe we'll run into him again. Perhaps he'll stay here. I don't rightly know. Okay, a new milestone. I will carve my name, but I won't light a candle. Because there's this one just down here, and there might be another one further up. It surely well should be. Alright. Now there's some kind of combat encounter over here. Let's go and enjoy it. Two attacks, if we go stand ground and then double edge for the second attack, and then okay, we can get silly now. Crazed Witch, oh fun. Let's use this and then small strikes. Okay, fine, all on the same target, and then whack on here, because he's hitting very hard. Um, we'll keep stand your ground, because there's three enemies. Always nice to have a block when there's that many, and wow. Alright, alright, alright. So she's going to be healing that one. Meaning I can throw up a block and go small strikes, which are mostly going to go over there this time, apparently. Right, and then keep small strikes again, actually. Did I get hit? Uh, I don't think I did. But I should heal up a little. I have to right click on it to bring up the menu, I can't just left click on it. Um, I think I can go like this. Nice. And then like this. And throw up a block. And keep that. Oh, but that chains on blue cards. So, if we go like that, go like that. And then. Then keep the shield bash for no 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 heavy hit. Okay, don't forget to breathe. Synergize for more cards. Big Bosh. Ah, oh, so close. Get some consecrated oil. That will probably come in very useful. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Fortunately, the auto map is very useful. Hello, you want to fight? Apparently, you do. All right, free attacks coming my way. That is not ideal. Oh, this is interesting. Can I get another blue card? No. I absolutely cannot. So I will almost definitely be taking damage this round. Now if we keep the standard attack because it costs less energy, then I might be able to... Okay, I'll have a block. So we've got two attacks incoming and an enemy heal. So then we go draw and we'll get some energy. Um, just smack this. Amalgamated deer. Well, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Ah, if I keep breathe for next round, because there are multiple enemies and I do need to be able to defend myself.
Okay. So if I go breathe, um, heavy hit. Oh, that did not get me what I needed at all. I, I wanted to get the charge to use double-edged and get another card. See, that's bad. That involved me taking lots of damage. So if I instead go and stand my ground, get that double-edged sword up there so I can smack it back on them, and go draw, stand my ground. Oh, that's a lot of petty attacks. And then have some more cards. Oh, that, that magical energy barrier is going to really mess there. Okay, that's a shame. She's... Okay, it's not summoning, she's enhancing one of them. So if I just pile in some damage here... And I definitely clicked on the deer. Something very strange happened there. Let's get a third block up. Okay, and if I keep the hard hit for next time, that might allow me to finish the deer off. Bring it on. Provided I'm allowed to actually attack it. Right, I should definitely use one of these. Um, just throw this. And then go for that heavy hit there. And that does not get me the blocks for landing. Oh my god. I am so screwed. Okay. Um, better heal again then, because this is going to be a painful. Oh, right. I can just go like this. Nice. I needed that. Uh, keep. This because it's amazing. Bring it on. And I'll use it straight away. Right, she is doing something mysterious. So if I just wallop him really hard. And then it's not gonna get me anything useful, so. I'll split it, because he's got plenty of health at the moment anyway. I wasn't going to finish either of them off there. I'll keep this. No. This. And she's powered up his defences again. Okay, well I absolutely need this. I have no stuns, so I need to try and get... Ah. Uh, How do I build charges? Um, doesn't say. Okay. All right then. I'm getting a few hits. Mm. All right. So. Maybe it's only playing blue cards that are going to power these up. So that's got me two energy. That's got me another block. So I want to three blocks, and she is healing. Uh, if I go for this and hit her, as she is not, I didn't need three blocks. But it, it got me the power. And if I key, uh, yeah, that one. All right. Well, that will finish her off straight away. And when I can block him, could really do us some healing though. 
So if I consider that block to be healing, because it will prevent 5 to 6 incoming damage, and then if I can get another block, I can't, so I'll go for the stuff. And I'll keep the hard hit for next time, because it is amazing. And I will use that. Oh, that's very disappointing. And uh, two attacks incoming, so I go for two blocks. And then keep the heavy hit, because that will put a lot of damage on me. So I'll play that straight away. I'll get a block. And he is attacking twice, so we'll deal some damage back to him. And keep the small strikes, because there's only one enemy. Alright, he's attacking three times. Good god. Okay. So we just go for that stun and small strikes. And then we'll keep one of these because they're all the same. And then hopefully finish them off. Uh, one energy. No, that's bad. I should not keep those. However, I do get a new card. Right. Taunt. Plus 20 armor taunts all enemies. So, taunting all enemies. Unless it changes their intention, doesn't seem worth using unless I have multiple characters in play, right? And have a party. In story mode, having a party of two characters with Ailai and Beor would be a good thing. Taunting in conquest mode, unless it makes them attack when they were going to heal or, or buff an enemy or an ally of theirs or something doesn't seem so good. Uh, stun if they're going to attack. I mean, mm, I will... Look, sometimes, occasionally enemies do have armor. That stun, that cheap stun though, is golden, so I will go for that. And I will get this hidden wealth. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's totally go in there and fight whoever you are. Oh, I don't have the health for this. I will end you. I really don't have the health for this. Okay, infects the deck with obsolete cards in combat. That's not a good sign. Another bad sign is my lack of blue cards at the moment. So let's just hit him hard. She's probably boosting him anyway. Keep that. He's doing something. He's put bad cards in my deck. Okay. He's attacking, she's healing. So if I stun him, that's great. And then I go for small strikes to split the damage. And keep breathe because it is possibly the best card in my deck at the moment. So I'll play it, obviously, because they're both attacking. Ah, great. Just draw. Get the block. Get some more energy. And smack her really hard. Oh, damn, he's attacking twice. Did not notice that. I should have paid more attention. Okay. Well, I'm going to use this because I want to leave. I'm going... They're both... He's giving me a bad card. She's going to be doing something else. So I should hit her. And get some blue. I was hoping for an attack card, obviously. Uh, yeah, so no, I don't want to keep any of those. Okay, three attacks, one attack. So, I'll go for the big stun. 
I will... Ah, uh, okay. Oh god, she's hitting hard. He has far too many attacks incoming. And I have not enough defense. No, 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 I should not do that. There we go. I may be a... He's healing, which is interesting. it means he's not attacking us, but it also means he has some self-healing capability. I would like to keep small strikes because there's only one enemy. Uh, he's attacking twice, so I need extra blocks and extra energy. Nice. And I'm not going to use that now but I will be keeping it for next turn. Ah, uh, no stun, and he has three attacks incoming, lovely. That is not giving me what I need. I am taking damage. Um, okay. That worked. Go for the big Bosch there. Oh, three attacks incoming again. That's not fair. Um, stun them. And then if I keep the heavy hit for the next turn. Now he's got three attacks coming my way. Uh, crippling attack. Beautiful. And then a heavy hit. Nice. But I'll keep one of these because it's not disturbance. He's going for free attacks again. So I'm going to try for... There's no defense cards there whatsoever. But there is a stun, which is lovely. And then we can go for lots of small attacks. And one normal attack. And then we'll keep the attack. And we'll have a block. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That worked, though. And he gave us a weird candle. Well, relinquished into our care. Pried from his cold, dead fingers. Oh, what's this? A run-down windmill. Oh. The blades of this lone windmill creak and groan as you approach, as if they were trying to warn you of something. When you enter, the miller immediately announces. My lord, I'm sorry. That's all I can give you this week. Uh, okay. Uh, interestingly, if you're playing a female character, he also says my lord. So either he's just not paying attention because he's too focused on his work, or he just doesn't care. Or they didn't get the voice actor to record an alternate version of the line. Which is a distinct probability. And we got some money. We got quite a lot of money, actually. We haven't come to another uh, standing stone yet. In fact, this is a dead end, which means... Oh, it wouldn't let me walk around that way. Okay. Which means that actually lighting a candle at this stone is not an entirely bad idea. I should do that. And then I should travel back to the village when I'm allowed to. There we go. So I'm back here in the village. Terrible Iron Maiden song, I know. It's just... I, f I don't know if it's a reference to a prisoner or not. Just back in the village again, over and over and over again. 
I do have a lot of travel maps by now, though, so I should make more use of them. Um, obviously, I need supplies. I need weird candles. And I need lots of healing. I can't afford the better sword just yet. I mean, I can, but I need the health an awful lot more. Okay, let's put the candles back there, and the healing potions back there. And then we will travel all the way out to... Yes, here. Because now, I can go to this encounter. Hey, did my candle go out just as I got into a fight there? That would be bad. Um, right, so, I have not a lot of health. And weirdness. Additional weird stones drop from all combat encounters. Well, as I haven't had any weird stones yet, that's useful to know. Although the five incoming attacks, my god. Make that. Okay. 10 to 12, or 9 to 12. That's actually less. Stand my ground. And take some damage. I'll keep that, because there's two of them. Alright, and breathe. No stunts. So, go with that. Um, could do with some more defense. No defense, but crippling attack is good. Uh, six to seven is bigger than five to six. And I will split the attacks for now. Because they were both on pretty much full health anyway, and it was worth spreading the damage to see if I could get one a bit lower than the other, and I have. Keeping an attack, and this could get painful. Alright. I'm seeing... No... Ugh. Bad, 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 bad. Right. Oh well. Hmm. that as directed attacks are going to be beneficial for now obviously I also need my goodness the health is going to be a problem right so I need to try and put him down now I failed to do so Okay. That's just going to hurt a lot. Although now, hopefully, I'll be able to handle him a lot easier. Now that there's only one enemy. Uh, I can and I will. Oh, lovely. Just stun him there. A bit redundant because I had uh, got two blocks, but not entirely. I will end you because it's it's building good practice, right? Building up good habits. If I keep that for next round because it's bonkers. And say, breathe, stand ground, draw. So this is this character class with the the guardian is all about learning combinations and how to put cards together effectively, right? 
Whereas for Berserker is not about building combinations, it's about uh, letting that health bar go up and down and controlling it. I have two blocks, so I could go crippling attack and I probably should because it's habit forming. Keep hard hit because that should finish him next turn. Yes. And I get another acid flask. Okay. Oh, I got things. I got weird stones. Nice. I also have weird candle, which is much appreciated. Use wayfarer leaves to keep yourself awake during a watch, or to march without resting. Abound scaber stalks make a great addition to sauces, but won't siate you for long. A fungi known as third eye induces upsetting visions. Avoid it when the weirdness is close, as it has a habit of turning such visions into reality. There's no such word as siate. I think he meant satiate, which is exactly what was written there. Uh, whoa. That is something I should probably not mess with unless I have a lot more health. Now that I have a bit more health, I should absolutely grab that. And then go in and give it a try. Find out what this strange creature is. I will end you. So this is a weird spectre. For a spectre it hits hard, occasionally heals other enemies. And it's probably summoning other enemies now to heal. Right. It has a very high... I was tempted to play defensive cards to um, build up combination points. Oh, what? Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, crippling attack then. Be stunned. Uh, is it going to do that? Is it going to refill that every round? It might. Uh, if I keep that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't keep breathe. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm going to need to defend against that anyway. So then. I can get a heavy hit in there. And keep a uh, block card. And I go. Whoa! That's a lot of attacks. I can stun it. That's good. And the enemy has no... Ooh. Right. Three attacks is bad news. Oh, I'm going to be taking one of those. Ah! I will absolutely use this and get a magical shield of my own. I like this though, it's interesting. Ah, uh, that is a massive attack. Let's stun it. And then smack it really hard ourselves. Nice, we're on to actual damage now. Not that it'll last. It'll probably get its defenses back up soon. Okay, so it's attacking once, one big bash. Now if we go for the stun, that's great. Get a few extra cards and some energy, and a heavy hit which should finish it. And that apparently draws it towards me. Hey, we got some food though, so I'll get some healing out of that. Nice. So, I've seen that some transactions require weird stones, so fighting in the weirdness appears to be the way to get hold of that. I must remember that. Yeah. Mm. 
Ooh, Old Mother's Altar. Nice. Nice to run into this here. All Mother's shrines were a common sight across Avalon. Despite their grim existence, settlers were grateful to the goddess. And they had good reason to be. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island. And only one or two would survive the first year. Who knows? Perhaps it is her mercy that brought you back. Perhaps it is. The shrine has faint traces of power lingering in the air. A priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. At this point, the healing would be really nice. I'm not going to rob it. Uh, I don't know what kind of blessing she'll give me, but I am wounded and seek succor for my ailments. The priestess lays her hands on your chest and you feel a sudden sharp pain as your body begins to grow rapidly, filling your wounds. It's hard to get used to the sensation. Hopefully a sensation I will not have to experience very often. And then if I run back this way to the stone and use it to travel... Travel between stones... Uh, no, not this way. Um, you. All right. Oh, hello. Confident priestess. I'm intrigued. But first, I have some beasties to deal with. Uh, that's a lot of attacks. I, I, sh I shield bash. I block. And I end my turn. Which means I'm taking one hit. Wait. Um, yeah, fine. Fine. I'll keep this, because I'm probably going to need it. Right. Uh, two, four attacks coming my way. One... Two. I would like some extra energy. I do not have the ability to defend against all the incoming attacks. So. This feels like a really good idea. You have less health. Nice. And I keep this for next round as I may need it. Alright, three incoming attacks and a crippling attack. Excellent. So now there's only two attacks I need to worry about. And maybe I can just Hit it again. Oh, that's nowhere near enough healing. They're gonna both be on full after that. That's bad. Okay. So small strikes may be very useful in this fight. One, two attacks incoming. I could do with blue. Breathe. And give me some energy. Awesome. I have two blocks, so I don't need to stun anyone. If I stun... No. No, no, no. Small strikes to spread it. Okay. And I would like to keep you for next round. Okay. I'm liking this music pick right now, to be honest. Yeah. Double blocks, and then if I go stun you and get a bit of extra energy, then I should be able to lay an attack here and keep you. I should probably, if I get enough blocks. 
then I should be prioritizing taking out the healer, but obviously I can't afford to do that just yet. Only three attacks incoming, and I get, like, nothing here. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. Forty to fifty-six. Well, that's almost as much, to be honest. Huh. So I just pile this into you. Because I'm going to be taking a fair bit of damage this round anyway. And there's enough all I can do about it. Please. That is not enough blue cards. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. That is not the one I dragged the card towards. That's bad. Well, obviously, crippling attack on you. Because that way I can get more energy and hit you. That's working for me. I like it. I should keep this, absolutely. Alright. Well, that's just a whole load of attacks coming in right there. And there's quite a few here as well. So. And breathe. It's barely enough, and he's probably going to heal himself. Bring it on. Four, five attacks incoming. Good grief. Okay. So if I do this right. I did not get what I needed there, but good to know. So drawing extra cards gives me more options as to what I can keep next time for next time. Big cards will get me killed at the moment. I mean, I may be going down as it is. Just free attacks. That's excellent. So I'm, I'm thinking, singles again, I can live with that. Uh, look, it's going to stop on attack, that's great. Maybe an emergency next round, we shall see. That's a lot of attacks. I made the mistake of not having energy, any energy left over. I could, at this point, swap life for energy. I don't think that's going to help too much. Uh, 
Uh, straight attack. Bring it on. I don't have my shield bash. I don't have my crippling attack. So, this is a huge gamble. I could be about to perish. Oh, I do have my 20% armor, so that might just save my life. That is so very wrong. Right. Can I get a block? No. Can I? Ah, I'm dead. Okay. For most, death is final. A place from which they will never return. For some, it is a place of eternal torment from which they come back as monsters. You, on the other hand, find yourself in a desolate and peaceful land, lit only by the cold glow of stars way out in the sky. Congratulations! Well, that's a bit weird. Total wealth gained, 552. Best, 552. Total weird shards gained, 9. Best, 9. Damage dealt, 3057. 29 enemies killed. 105 rounds fought, 105 cards played, and no boss damage. You feel a strange force around you. It's as if it was trying to push you to go on and try again, like a whisper inside your head saying something like, don't ever give up. We can try again or give up. Let's click try again to show you what happens when I do this. So. Pick your starting blessing. I don't need a blessing. Start with four more weird candles. Start with 200 more gold. And six more healing potions. I'm going to go for weird candles. And at this point... Wait for it. Yeah, the loading screen lasted a tiny little bit longer there for dram than dramatic timing would have preferred. At this point, I'm brought back to this screen where I get to... I don't get to change character's name, but I get to change class if I want to, to the other class that is coming soon. And I can select Brawler, Guardian, or Berserker. You've seen Guardian. We haven't seen Brawler yet. Let's go Berserker. And here we are. Back in the village, the map has been randomly generated and is a bit different. And I believe this is a good time to end the episode actually and then pick it up next time. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, strange and weird though it may be, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now and cheerio!